Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how I replaced a crankshaft positioning sensor in my Nissan Altima. So what you're going to do first is remove the engine cover uh, followed by the air duct and vent hose. What basically happened, I've got a check engine light with the error codes P0725 and P0335 and the car became really hard to start and or no start at all sometimes it would absolutely stall on the traffic light and which is really dangerous and sometimes I would have to try it for 5-10 minutes just to start the engine I've looked up the error codes and it, it said crankshaft positioning sensor malfunction first I would recommend you to move this little bracket out of your way so you could have more flexibility when you're trying to reach the sensor. Use 10 mm socket to remove the bolt. Now I'm going to show you where is the crankshaft positioning sensor. It's located on the lower back side of the engine and it's really really tight area to get to. You won't be able to see the sensor and you'll have to work blindly. But I found a little trick that can make your life much easier. I used my cell phone, I turned on the camera in video mode and I turned on the flashlight and I placed it on top of the engine pointing at the sensor and this way I was able to see what I'm doing and actually record everything and another thing you could use which would work the best is a little handy camera, video camera with a flip screen you point it at the sensor and uh, turn the screen towards you so you'll be able to see that When you're buying replacement sensor, don't be surprised because it's going to look different from the original one. The new design has a metallic housing which is opposed to plastic one on a OEM sensor. To remove the sensor, I use 10 mm socket with a 3 inches extension and small hand ratchet. Okay, now comes the hardest part, which is taking out the sensor. This is my second time replacing the sensor, and this is aftermarket part, which I got from eBay, and it doesn't work well. I would drive my car for a while, and then when you stop the car and try to start it again, it becomes very hard to start the engine. It takes sometimes a couple minutes just to get it running. So I've got the original part from Nissan dealer, uh, which was three times more expensive, but it worth it. And I'm gonna install it now. Also, it's important to mention that if you're replacing the sensor for the first time and it's an original sensor, you would have to disconnect the electric plug first and then remove the bolt. The original sensor is made the way that you won't be able to put a socket on top of the bolt. So unplug the connector first and then remove the bolt. That connector might sit really tight in place and it might be covered with oil and be slippery so it will take a lot of effort to take it out and you can use long nose pliers or something else. Uh, to take it out, but it might be really difficult to do. To unplug the connector, press the green button first and make sure it clicks. Then disconnect the connector.
these are two different sensors the one on the left is aftermarket on the right is uh, original and this is the part number for original sensor try to get that one if possible the aftermarket part that I got from eBay was a little bit longer than it's supposed to be and it got scratched by the crankshaft next connect the new sensor to the electric plug insert the new sensor back inside the engine and replace the bolt Make sure you don't forget to replace the bracket. Put back the air duct and the vent hose. and finally install the engine cover after you're done uh, the error codes should go away and if they don't just get the diagnostic tool and erase them that's pretty much it and I hope I gave you a good idea how to replace your crankshaft positioning sensor thank you for watching and subscribe for future videos